Good morning, guys. It is a rainy day and a bad hair day. It's supposed to rain this entire day. The entire day. <laughs> Girls are still getting ready. I beat them down because I am worried about Stella so bad now. Ooh, look at cute. My pants are all wet. My pants are all wet too. I got mine on. You have a long coat on. Flower power is not winning! <laughs> Flower power is not winning! Super cute! It's raining a lot! Back it up! Don't worry, I would never hurt you. <laughs> so, the craziest thing happened yesterday after Stella's fall. It's good. Which one is it? Uh -huh. Does it look swollen? I was no. like... It does. Right there. Is it hot? No heat at all. Yesterday we made the video and then we went home and I edited it and when we edited it I could see that she did trip. It felt like that at first. It felt like she tripped. It's not hot at all. I just feel it myself. She's like, what are you doing? She's like, don't feel my foot. Yeah, her, it looks okay actually. So she did trip and she rolled this foot. Oh, you'll be looking good, Stella Bell. The horse should good. not trip, though. Like, why the heck is she tripping? Same <sighs> tricks. Anyway, I have a big bruise under my arm, but that's it. That's the only thing that hurts me. <laughs> but you know what? Another In thing. Armpit. Wait, I'm going to tell you guys the craziest thing ever. Crazier than me being on YouTube with my hair like this. <laughs> oh, no, I didn't brush my hair. So. Yeah, well, my hair looks crazy. Wait. See, I'm making you wait now because you... Gabby, stop taking over. Stop taking Ooh. over. No, stop taking over. There you go. Now walk Gracie to that door. Stop taking that over. Door. Come on, Gracie girl. There you go. Oh my god, this is that. So here is the crazy thing I was gonna tell you. The crazy thing is this. When we first got Stella, I fell and hurt my foot. Do you guys remember? I hurt my foot. It was awful. I couldn't walk. I was limping all the time and walking funny on my front foot. It's the first time that's ever happened to me. It almost took a year to heal up. I don't know what happened to it, but something inside there was hurting and it took a year and that's completely healed. But at the same time, Stella was tiptoeing because she had really bad front feet. Uh, the farrier had just come at her old house and chopped her feet off probably because she had like some foundering issues and she was tiptoeing everywhere so <laughs> your bangs are just like yeah my hair is just crazy anyways so then fast forward um the last like about six weeks or so even before we went on our trip my this arm i have like a pulled muscle right up in here and it's been taking a long time for it to go away but it's sore and now last night after her fall this leg is sore i feel like both of my front legs are sore and now stella's both front legs are sore but at first this one was sore and hers was sore like every injury that she has kind of corresponds to what happens to me i don't know it's a weird thing it's a weird thing stella are we connected are we connected so i didn't tell you guys the, but yesterday, after she fell, after we fell, she acted so different. She was, I don't know if she was saying, I'm sore now, or I don't think so. She was so apologetic. She was walking behind me, putting her head right inside of me, and looking up at me with her doe eyes. And she just literally was was so affectionate i've never seen her that affectionate and i was like cradling her head and rubbing her and she's just staring at me and you know stella stella only gets touched if stella wants to get touched she's a strong woman but yeah i i, I don't know she was like i'm so sorry and felt like so sad which i feel like that's the kind of horse she is it just makes me feel sad like yeah but anyway i that's the fall didn't scare me it didn't um get me off riding but I'm definitely going to be riding Polly and learning and honing my Polly? skills. Yeah, still, but I don't know. I need Polly. to make sure, Polly, I need to make sure Stella's okay after that fall, and I need to make sure, like, I, I don't know. I still worry about if she's okay. No worries. But her leg does look okay. You look okay, Stella Bell. Wake me up in the middle of the night. You say I cannot wait till the morning. Some things just have to be done in the middle of the But when I look at you now, there's no trace I guess it's all been erased You tell me that it's over That we just hurt each other But we don't have to end up this way 
In homeschool, we are reading Serafina and the Splintered Heart. This is the third book in the Serafina and the Black Cloak series by Robert Beattie, if you guys are interested. It's a really good series. It's kind of like a mystery. Uh, um, I don't even know what else you would call it. But it's a book series that we've been reading for since last year or two. While we read, um, the girls like to do some kind of anything with their hands. So... Sometimes they make slime or play with slime or do whatever. Um, this term, they are learning to knit. Sophie's learning to knit on knitting needles. She's doing really well. Gabby is learning to knit on a loom. On you don't want to knit on this? No, I'm not. You want to buy a new one or you want to learn to knit with knitting needles? I'm knitting with knitting needles. Okay, so she actually was making a blanket and was doing a good job, but we messed it up at the start. I messed it up when I tried to start it for her. So um, she's going to, we're going to go and get some wool today. This is like the carnage of how we started. Um, this is the blanket that I'm making. I'm actually making it for Sophia. It's got three different colors. It's white and pink and gray. And so these are my squares. It's kind of bright. Uh-oh, something's wrong. Sorry about the color. Sometimes the camera gets messed up and I don't know how to fix it, but I just fixed it. Anyways, so these are like squares that I'm making. I can't remember if I showed you this before. And then I, whoops. And then I will sew them all together and it will make this big, huge blanket for Sophie. It's really soft, fluffy wool. But anyway, the girls, I've made, usually in the winter time, I make blankets. I've made baby blankets before. Um, but the girls are going to practice making a blanket this year. When you buy eggs, see how our eggs are all different colors. I got this little teeny tiny baby one probably from Izzy. And we have different colors and different sizes. We got a dark brown one here and it's bigger than all the rest. Um, when we buy eggs at the store, companies go through all the eggs take out all the imperfected, imperfect eggs. They take out all the little ones, all the discolored ones, all the different shapes of eggs. They make it kind of like this, but then- Some of them are literally so weird. Yeah, some are not pretty. This one's not clean. You need to clean them. But yeah, they the company takes out all the imperfect, imperfect ones, and then you get a carton of perfect eggs, all the same size, all the same shape, all the same everything yeah and it's too bad because doing that we get all a carton of perfect eggs but in also doing that we don't get any of the perfect eggs or any of the amazing eggs so we get a carton of all the same color and all the same size but we don't get any amazing incredible perfect triple eggs triple eggs or double yolks or any of that kind of stuff and it's too bad because when you try and make everything exactly the same as everything else, you lose something huge. You lose the ability to be great. Isn't that crazy? You lose the ability. So when you're out there and you're at school and you're at work and you're at wherever you're at, at your writing lessons and you try to make yourself exactly like every single other person, you lose the ability to be great. You lose the ability to see the great part of you. So uh, that is another reason to go out there and just be you. And if the people around you don't love the you that you are, find new people. I'm not surprised that you're feeling this way. We are down to do chores. We do them now after school. It just uh, works better for us. before school. I washed another... Ear bonnet. Ear bonnet. I'm going to be packing all those away for the spring. Oh, I'm excited. Fly mask. Um, I need to do water. Watching, it's called fly mask. Fly mask. What did I call it? Ear bonnet. <laughs> Whatever. Yes, I left the girls down here. They're like, let, let us do chores. No. No. Oh, so we have a chore too. <gasps> no way. How did you break it? I'm standing in cell stop like this, but then I'm holding this up. Oh my goodness. That does not work as a broom. It does. Well, you're gonna have to buy your own. Oh, I don't have any money. Oh, yes, you do. She sure does. Anyway, it's lunchtime. For... Oh my gosh. Is that revenge? Is that a revenge body? They give new name, new meaning to the word revenge body. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's what happens. Don't be rough. Yeah, let's just take a look at this gorgeousness. This pure gorgeousness. Gosh, okay, so we got this. Pure wet. And then we got this. 
Isn't that beautiful? Uh, for any of you guys who are at work, that are thinking that Stella was um, hurt yesterday, she probably doesn't feel awesome after that fall, but she's okay. She's definitely okay. We're definitely going to give her a few days off, though, a little while off. You know what it feels like when you sprain your ankle or when you, like, roll over on your ankle? Yeah, that's got, not going to be a fun feeling. Even if it's super minor, I always take time, like it always takes time to make it feel completely better. All right, that was fast. For some reason, it seems to take us a lot faster to do chores at this time, probably because when we do chores in the morning, girls are going back up to the house just to do school, so they prolong it. <laughs> You're gonna have to explain to dad how come it broke. Yeah, because dad broke. <laughs> no, I don't know, that, that's not cool. I step I on it. Stall, stall. If you're stepping on it and rocking back and forth, yeah. The Live and learn. Then I fell into a wall, banged my head, yeah, and cracked it up. Anyway, it's still raining yeah. off and on all day. We're going to groom our horses because, yeah, clearly. Storm. Look at Finn. Is Finn a ma mess too? Finn is soaked. Mom, this is why we should go to shelter. With, like, Sam wants to get another shelter really, for them. Really, yeah. really long. Takes up like a. A lot more. I don't know oh, if. Yeah, so rude. I. You're just so rude. Bothered by something. I don't believe that you're right when you say that we're better off this way. I guess it's true as my mother did say. You can't trust a soul that's been shattered. All those moments we shared face to face. Was it all just a game you played? You tell me we are going to groom our horses uh, when we get back, but we're going to go do some shopping right now. Uh, Cause that's what you do on rainy days. Okay, so we are at the store and we are getting ready to pick wool because they want to make their own blankets. Look at if you did. I'm not making a blanket. Oh well, Gabby's gonna make a blanket. But look, these are neat because they have like all different colors. So I'm gonna let them pick their own thing. White, yeah, that's what I expected. I love white. White is one of my favorites. I decided to help Gabby break her habit of always contradicting people. So every time she says something, I'm gonna try and remember to contradict her so she can see how it actually feels. Oh, I love that. I don't. Thank you. I do. So. I know you're just doing that to contradict me. <laughs> I know, I suck at contradicting people. I'm like, if you wanna believe it, believe it. Look at that one up there. Do you like that? Yeah, I like that. Is that what you're getting? And so are you knitting or crocheting? Um, whatever I was doing today. Knitting. Here's some colors. Do you see anything that you like? I had to. And I have to make. So what exactly are you planning to make? A bathrobe for Cookie. I do not know how to teach you how to make a bathrobe. I mean, I'm gonna try. And it's gonna be perfect. It's over. Then we just hurt each other. But we don't have to end up this way. Holy jeez, you're dirty. Get, get in there. Look how dirty you are. You rolled in the mud. What do you got to say for yourself? Done? 
Yes, yeah, Storm, I'm watching you eat. Gracie, you're not done yet? Hey, let me help you. Sometimes I tip this for, for Willow. I called you Gracie there for a second. And Gracie's all done. The storm is almost done. The storm gets the most grain, so it takes them a lot longer to eat it all. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.